Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, if you're new here, welcome. And if you've been here before, you know the vibe. Welcome back. So today, we're talking about a very special camera. <laughs> this camera is called the Kronos. Kronos. <laughs> anyway, let's call it Kronos. Um, but if you know anything about Greek mythology, you know who Kronos is. Kronos was like the god of Zeus. You know, God Zeus was like one of the big gods. And you know, Zeus killed him and all this stuff. The whole Greek mythology thing, you know, he was just, I think Kronos was the son of Fury. You know, so oh, right. I <laughs> And guy, yeah, anyway. <laughs> but then, you know, Kronos was a very powerful being, um, according to Greek mythology. And this name to this camera is, is really fitting because this is a very powerful camera. Um, this camera is essentially a slow motion camera. And if you know anything about getting you know, proper slow, slow motion and you know, high quality, you know you have to spend big bucks. Because then you have to get stuff like cameras like the Phantom Flex and you know, the whole Phantom lineup. And those cars cost thousands of dollars. This is not very cheap, but it is a much cheaper option than what you'd have to pay to get you know, something like this. So I heard about this camera, I mean I saw it before online, I saw Daniel Schiffer using it and I saw a few other persons using it and I mean I never thought I would get to see it but you know a friend of mine turns out have it and I got it for a few hours so I said why not just make a video for you guys so I was able to get a few clips you know because this camera requires quite a bit of light so I had to go outside to get a few clips and um, yeah, I'm going to show you guys later, but this is the camera. Very different, you know, not very, very different, but you know, certainly bigger than my A7 that I'm using to film this. The form factor is much bigger. Um, it's weird, this is a big camera and just a small, you know, lens portion. But this comes with a, a micro four thirds sensor, I think, you know, you can see. It. Yeah, kind of small, but also has a 800 by 400 resolution display screen. Uh, it's a fixed screen, so it's not um, you know rotating or anything like that. The camera stores its memory on a SD card, but it has built-in RAM. So you have three different versions for this camera. You have a 8 gigabyte, 16 gigabyte, and a 32 gigabyte, and that is the RAM space. So what it does, it records to the RAM and then you're able to select like the portion that you want to save to the SD card and then you save it. However, you can't use the camera while it's, it's saving so it's not like you can take up this camera and you can like, run and gun um, cinematography or you know, even filmmaking. This is just solely for taking slow motion shots because it requires for only about 11 seconds there about. So it's not like you can shoot a film with this. However, it is very useful if you're doing like product photography I just want to have fun, I guess, and I guess there are, there are other implications of this for like, you know, science experiments and, and stuff like that, but this is not your average, you know, throw on a microphone, throw it on a gimbal and get some shots. It's a dedicated slow motion camera. It also has multiple ports. It has a HDMI port, it has a SATA port, a regular micro USB it has an Ethernet port that you can, uh, you know, send to like a network drive or something that you can store something much faster than the SD card. It has a trigger input that you can, you know, like use to trigger the camera to start recording. Let's say you're the only one, you know, doing the recording that you don't have any help. Uh, you know, you can trigger it. This camera does not have autofocus, so you have to manually focus the lens. Um, what else is there? But it also has a headphone and a microphone jack. Yeah, and it has a built-in battery uh, that lasts a few minutes. However, it can be powered with the adapter that comes with it. So yeah, they have it. They have a knob here that turns, and you can do a selection in the menu. Um, the power button is here, as well as there's a record button. The screen is touch screen as well, so you can control everything from the screen. So it's touch screen, and it has a quarter mount that you can like mount on your tripod and stuff so yeah that's 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 it um i can bring up the specs for you because i couldn't remember all of this bring up the data sheet have it on my phone so according to this you're able to shoot 1080p at a thousand frames per second that's crazy this sony camera shoots 
turn it to pee at 120 and you know 120 is always buttery smooth you know and it looks good so you can just imagine a thousand frames per second crazy um, in a camera body like this you can get 720p for 50, about 1500 frames per second uh, 512p for about 2000 I mean, we're going to really use 512 in a you know, professional video or anything like that because the resolution is really low, but it's good to have. And it doesn't stop there, it goes all the way down to 96p. That's crazy. That's like having, like, you know, one of those, what's it called, um, razor phones, or the ones before that with those low, low resolution. But at this resolution, you are able to shoot for 24 frames per second. 24,096. And 46 sorry, frames per second that's crazy that's 24 picture frames in a single second it would probably take me the entire day to count 24 frames <laughs> but yeah um that's it. it 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 is quite 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 a machine quite a machine there are some other specs but you can definitely read up on that um this is like a quick overview to introduce you guys to the Kronos camera so if you don't know or never seen some footage of what this can do it is going to be on screen right now because I got a few shots and you can see what I did with a thousand frames per second let me know what you guys think in the comment section let me know To use this camera, you'll need a like a photo deox adapter. Um, you have an adapter mount for the a Nikon lens or a Canon lens. So you just take it like this and you screw it on like so. Yeah, you watch the screw on until it's locked in. And I'm gonna need a lens. Hold on. And you get the, this is a Nikon lens. Uh, it's a Nikon guy as well. So as usual, there's a little red mark there, you have the white dot that is on the lens, you line it up like that, and you turn until you hear it click, and it's locked into place, and there you go, the Kronos. So yeah, this is the Kronos camera, um, and you just turn it on, so you hold on the power button, and when you turn it on, you should see Kronos on screen, and the fan that is built in, has a built in fan because this camera gets really hot because of you know what it's doing in such a small body yeah and yeah it's, it, i think it has variable speeds so if you're plugging the the charger the power cable i realize that the the fan gets louder it starts to spin faster i guess because of the heat from you know charging the battery as well as what it's doing internally to record the, the videos at such a high frame rate it gets hot so it has a built-in fan which is really cool and it looks really cool as well. I don't know what you guys think. It has some weight, but I don't think you'll be holding it in your hand when you're doing anything. I would suggest that you mount this on a tripod because it's not really cheap. The base model for this is $5,000. Um, that is the 8GB RAM version. And then the 16GB version, I think, is about $5,300. And the top version, which is 32GB, which is, I think is this version, is about $6,000. For the body only and then you need to buy a lens if you don't have a knife and lens before if you have then you know even better for you and i think you have to like pre-order it you can just walk in the store and buy it so take some time and you have to wait and you know they send it to you as you can see on screen you're able to record you can change the settings you can you know do all that stuff on the screen and all that so it requires a lot of light 
So I take the door shut outside. But yeah, yeah guys, the fan is this kind of loud. So I'm going to turn it off. Um, it gets loud really quickly. Yeah. So there you have it. You have the Kronos camera. Kronos. Kronos. But yeah. Um, if you enjoyed this video, just remember to like, share, and subscribe. And yeah, just make sure everybody know, share your friends so we can build this, build this community. And just grow the family, you know. So thank you for watching this one. Peace out. I'm out. You know the vibe. Thank you.